the uh, greenhouse process begins. The uh, plants are being dug out. The green algae pond is getting removed. Kind of moved all the trees out of the way over here. Found some pipes, with electricity. Next we we tackle the big outer linear that's going to go out. Stump's going to get moved. This whole pond will get moved, and then I will build a greenhouse in this place, and that will house my winter bonsais and. Some of the bonsais that I want to get a little extra help with. See, I've acquired a lot of trees that I've turned into little pre bonsai. Always keeping busy. Be quite a change. Once upon a time, that was my, where that uh, pond was, was my sandbox when I was a little kid clear back in the 60s I spent hours in that little spot right there digging sand and trying to avoid the little kitty bombs that were buried in the sand in the meantime as you can see the fall colors are really starting to come out this time of year a little early a lot early but you know that's how it goes everything was late now everything's early and uh one of my trees. We'll see how they'll s survive through this little go of weather change. But uh, yeah, you can see I've got lots of trees and wood boxes. I've been really busy. All these were in plastic containers and now they're in wood boxes. You can see the parva is doing their fall shed of third needle third year needles I sell these a lot of times they people this time of year kind of go what's wrong with my tree it's dying it's like, no those are third year needle droppings this one here you can see this is actually not those are all the needles dying but that's one of these little midget parvifloras that are super duper finicky um, real hard to keep alive I, uh, the ragon hold right here uh, broom I think uh, dwarf ragon hold broom I believe it's just really temperamental some of the other ones are like you know Kimpo Kimpo has been a tough one uh, Catherine Elizabeth those are all Parvifloras, Japanese white pines that through the years have uh, given me fits as to keeping alive. Um, you know, the Japanese white pine is a love-hate tree for a lot of people because it just, even when it's, you think it's doing well, it just up and does like this Goldilocks down here just die in the middle of a bed. Everything else around it's fine. It just died. Got an airplane flying over. Big palmatum here is starting to color up. Getting some color in the yard. Getting some weeds in the yard. Got a Started to tackle the yard now. Weather's cooling off. You see, I got, I left it alone. It's my blackberry bush. It's, uh, it's about 12 feet long. It's kind of like ornamental along there uh, for this year. It's kind of a little back to back to nature. Uh, but all in all, it still looks good. Not quite as pristine as years gone past, but yeah, that's how it works in life. Waterfall out there is still not working. One of my next things. I mean, it, uh, one of those deals where everything takes a lot of time, you know, and I've spent a lot of time boxing up those little trees. Neglected this, like my deck. 
in the handrail. But soon that gets fixed. I came across somebody who got it fixed. And, but uh, the amazing part out here is all my years we've been here at this location since 1966. So 50 some years. Uh, the lake has never come close to being this low. It just, it's uh, so low, it's its very, very weird. I'm to the point where I almost can't even get any more water out of the lake because it's too low. Yes. You're here a week or two ago and this little section was underwater and there was a crawdad living in it and the water has dropped another looks like almost four inches in the last two weeks this is the back side of the whole garden you get a view that i never had before we'll walk through the mud because here's a new view that really it only occurred this year. <laughs> Actually, last year was pretty low. This year's even lower. And water circling back out. Here is a old drain. How this thing was set up. Drained from the street, fed to the lake. There's a pretty tree up above me. Pretty cool. I would have been a kid, I would have been out here just digging away in this mud. Oh, I love this mud. Look at this. This is really funny. I have seashells. <laughs> uh, I am a little at odd as here. We've had a whole bunch of seashells. So, um, I'm not familiar with seashells growing in a lake, and I really don't know why <laughs> they're in this one little spot. I can't see like a tree up above where the bird would be, but that is really um, my neighbor digging. Huh, oddities of the world. See something new every day. That's why I walk down here. Garden's always got something interesting in it. Here are seashells at the lake. That's a uh, beach. Didn't like its move. I don't think it's going to make it. That's it. Aria that I've struggled with. There's the Monumentale or Pencil Tree, number two pencil tree. My dad had another name for it, but we'll leave that for the X rated channel. back up into here it's, and I think this year's attempt at rebuilding the pond edge it's not going to work but we will get back over this direction and the pond that was up where my sandbox is will eventually go over into this location and there will be a pond here that's the next step in this whole process right here perfect <laughs>